Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be trying a fun experiment of what happens if you bring together all three of the Civil War veterans. What would their reaction be? Would something interesting happen? That's what we're going to be finding out in this video today. So at least to my knowledge, there are three special characters that have Civil War ties. The first is Mickey, who we've actually covered in a separate video. He's actually located in Valentine. And uh, what makes Mickey special, or at least unique, is you can't hogtie him. So that's one interesting aspect to trying to create this experiment is it seems like Mickey is immobile. Like there'd be no way to get him to the other Civil War veterans. And you can see he just sort of runs off on his own. There's no way to hogtie him, even if you tackle him. So that was going to be kind of difficult. So Mickey, unable to be moved. Now, the next special character is Joe. Joe is located in Rhodes, and he is another Civil War veteran too, and he cannot be hogtied either. Now, this guy isn't going to be going anywhere because it looks like he's on crutches and missing one of his legs, so he couldn't really run away even if he wanted to. That'd be kind of tough. So, so far, I wasn't having a ton of luck with this experiment because the first two, I guess, Civil War veterans couldn't be moved. And there's no way you could get them to run across, like, state lines to each other. That would be a near impossible experiment. However, I had hope with our third Civil War character, and that is Captain Hayden Russell. So, Captain Hayden Russell is located sort of to the northeast of Emerald Ranch. He's sort of at his outpost. And uh, we've actually covered him in a separate video, too. So in case you guys are interested in all the encounters you can have with Captain Russell and much more, uh, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. However, Captain Russell is unique because he can actually be hogtied. So this gave me the opportunity to bring Captain Russell to the other Civil War veterans. Now, there's some interesting things we need to talk about here because Mickey and Joe fought for opposite sides. Mickey apparently fought for the North, Joe fought for the South, and Captain Hayden Russell here, he would fight for the North. Amberino would be uh, the side that fights for the North. However, he believes it's 1862 and that the war is still going on. So that's why I wanted to see what would happen. Would you know Captain Hayden Russell react to Mickey? Would he react to Joe? Would he have some unique lines of dialogue? That's what I wanted to discover. Now, immediately, as soon as I hogtied him, he did start dropping some unique lines of dialogue. Like, he started shouting, Is anyone from the 29th Infantry Ambrino Volunteer Squad who can rescue me or something like that? So, he does give off some, you know, unique lines of dialogue, but I wanted to take him to Mickey in Valentine first. Now, I've hogtied a lot of people in Red Dead Redemption 2, so I knew what was going to happen when I brought him to town. I was going to get a wanted level. And that's not what I wanted to have happen. So what I did here was I brought Hayden Russell, Captain Hayden Russell, to Valentine. But I sort of parked him on my horse behind the like main strip of road. Because I didn't want to get noticed. I wanted to make sure Mickey was here. And what I ended up doing was I found Mickey. He was in his little spot sort of next to the train station. So once that happened, I was able to bring Captain Hayden Russell to town. And once again, I automatically knew I was going to get wanted for this. So I had my uh, decrease wanted level cheats at the ready. And what I did was I brought Captain Hayden Russell into town. And I tried to put him at the feet of Mickey. And uh, Mickey was not having that. I think he was running away because I was wanted. Maybe because I also had a kidnapped person in front of me. So he took off. He just started sprinting away. So what I did was I put Captain Hayden Russell back on the horse and uh, I tried to actually catch up to him. What my goal here was, was to hopefully untie Captain Hayden Russell next to Mickey and see what would occur. Instead, what happened is I kind of got an interesting experiment. Mickey ran away, but I sort of just stopped fighting Captain Hayden Russell and he became like a normal civilian. Like he just started walking into town and uh, sort of going about his own business. And I thought he was walking towards Mickey. I thought he was going to walk towards the part where he was laying down at the train station. But it turns out he had different plans. His idea was to steal a horse. Captain Hayden Russell literally stole a horse. I don't know where this guy was headed, but he was going through town. 
And what's even more unique is I'm pretty sure he killed someone. Like, he ran over someone, but I got wanted for it. Like, how does that make sense? So, I don't know what happened there. But either way, he starts to sort of just ride off. And I think that was kind of the end of the experiment there. He wasn't heading in any, you know, particular direction. I was kind of half tempted here to see where he ultimately might go. Like, would he start heading towards Amberino? Would he try to go back to his horse? But... I figured he would just ride off in a different direction, so I stole the horse from him, and then I tried to tackle him from going back into town because he would turned into like a witness, which was kind of funny. And I was actually just trying to threaten Captain Hayden Russell, but I actually ended up killing him after this. So what I did was I looted him. He didn't have anything on him in particular. It was 45 cents and some opened horse medicine, so nothing that I really wanted. So it was actually time to reset this experiment because now I was going to take him to Joe in Rhodes. And this is the one that I was really excited about because, and this is horrible to say, but I knew that Joe couldn't move. So Mickey ran away. Joe doesn't have the ability to do that because he's on crutches. He seems to be missing a leg and he just kind of sits there whenever he's like panicked or something like that. And I also knew that Captain Hayden Russell fought for the enemy of Joe. Joe fought for the South and Captain Hayden Russell fought for the North. So I was really curious to see what would happen with this one. Would Captain Hayden Russell freak out? What would ultimately occur? So we came back to his spot. I ended up grabbing him again. And uh, this time it was time to make the long trek down to Rhodes. And I did the exact same thing. I sort of avoided main streets because I knew I would become wanted. And the same thing happened once I was able to get into Rhodes. I sort of parked Captain Hayden Russell outside of the city, and I made sure that Joe was there. And uh, he sort of sits right outside of the convenience store in Rhodes. So what I did is I called over my horse. I got Captain Hayden Russell. I became wanted pretty instantly, which I expected. And what I did from there is I basically put Captain Hayden Russell right at the feet of Joe, the Civil War veteran. And I just sort of left him hogtied there for a second, and then I tried to let him go, uh, and I actually cut him free. And what happened was very, very interesting. So I was wanted. So I actually had to disarm him really quickly, but I didn't want him to fight me. I just simply wanted to run away. Well, I think the sheriffs or some concerned citizens were either trying to shoot me, or maybe they were intentionally trying to shoot Captain Hayden Russell because they killed him on sight. They killed Captain Hayden Russell. Was this because he was from the Amberino Army Infantry and that he was fighting for the enemies or because they were trying to shoot me and they shot him? I don't think we will ever know. So after that happened, Rhodes turned into an entire shootout. Sheriffs, civilians, pretty much everyone and anything got their weapons and started shooting at me. So I don't know if I would call this experiment a failure because it was really fun. Uh, I did get to, you know, experiment with Captain Hayden Russell a little bit more. And uh, hopefully that should clear up any questions you have of if you bring them together. They don't seem to be connected or related in any way, shape, or form. And they have no real unique lines of dialogue where they would interact with each other in any way. I do think it would have been really cool to be able to bring these two characters, Mickey and Joe, up to Captain Hayden Russell's fort, but there's just no way to do that. You can't hogtie them, and in the case of Mickey, you can't really guide him in a particular direction. He just sort of wanders off afraid, so I don't even know if that would be possible. Maybe this is something we will revisit when and if. Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out on PC where we will be able to sort of manipulate things a little bit more. But for now, I think this case is closed. That is what happens if you bring together all three of the Civil War characters in game. I don't know if there were any other Civil War characters or any other experiments we could do. Some ones that I kind of thought about trying here but didn't really warrant anything. If you take Captain Hayden Russell to the to like the Civil War battlefield, he doesn't say anything. I also took him by the Civil War fort. He doesn't say anything there. So I have thought of some other experiments. They just weren't all that interesting for me to really include in this one. But as always, if you have any future ideas we should do with Captain Hayden Russell, the Civil War veterans, or something completely different, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. Or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. 
If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.